recording. So, welcome, welcome, Nachos. Doing a game review of this most recent Sky Temple from this evening. Um, had a couple people message me and ping about the game and how things went. Um, I just wanted to quickly dive into it. So, if we had any draft questions or other things we wanted to review before our match tomorrow, that we got a chance to do that. So, um, kind of jumping in and looking at it. Uh, my first question for me for this game, looking at it, is, um, you know, from our quote-unquote cards and drafts and things, we've got two heroes that um, are not technically on our cards, which isn't bad. That's what practice is for. Is we're going to flex and learn and try new things. So I know Trench plays Rexar. Um, Fox, I don't, I don't recall you having Mouthyal on your list. Was that one that you said you wanted to learn? Uh, yeah, I wanted to try him out. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, no problem. I'm just trying to confirm what our list was. So, um, looking at this composition, um, I did they. So, did we last pick Malthiel? and and or did we pick? How early did Rexar get drafted? Uh, Rexar was, I think, one of the first, wasn't he? Was he top, top yeah, three? Yeah, he was first. He was uh, first pick? I, I remember picking Malthiel last. Okay, so Malthiel was last pick. So you picked Malthiel for um, countering Deathwing? Or Malthiel for um, dealing with the fact that they don't have a burst save? Or I guess they kind of do with, um, with Medivh, but was Malthiel intended for the Deathwing? I'm just, I'm yeah. just, okay, cool. That's fine if it was. I'm just working through, like, because, like, you guys have drafted either a 1-3-1, one, one, um, a 1-4-1, one, four, four, or some variation of, like, a 1-1-1-2, one, 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 where you can, like, roam around and do camps and do cool things. So I was just trying to, as I said, it's kind of why in my five questions, I'm like, what, what was your goal here? Because, like, it looks like you can do a lot of things but potentially we didn't have the same outlook or design for where this game was going to go. Um, but but to me, Cycles this left team, like, outside of standing in a Deathwing Fire Breath from a Taunt, I'm not scared Five, of the left team. Four, like, they don't, three, they don't two, do a lot of damage. One. And, like, Let we get, like, Cassie gets percentage begin. health on towards the end of the game, so we should be able to... Um, start hurting Deathwing late game. Like, we can definitely poke him and be annoying. We may not be able to kill him right away. We got people up top. Okay, so we got fight for the vision. So we're starting with a 1 3 1, which I think is fine. Uh, they're missing people. Good attempt here. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, read there. He teleports away. Okay, cool. So we're running top. Okay. Uh, Luigi's catching mid soak. Okay, so we're kind of split as a one three one again, which is fine. Um, okay, you guys are you guys are fine. Um, Fox may not be able to win this duel well. Like he'll he can damage her, but like over time you may not be able to keep mailing her. Okay, we're gonna camp in one minute. Well done. I like it. One three one here. Clearing the waves. Don't stand in the fire breath. Don't stand in the fire breath. Can't really silence them, but it's damage. Uh, maybe we save the silence for the D. Okay, we got two mid. So you're clearing, you're clearing. Okay, that's fine. Don't fight too hard here. You're 2v1. Your job is just to clear if you're double soaking, so we need to get you back to the bottom. You got Pale Horse, so you're super fast. You should be able to get most of these globes. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, you got one. And then Trench is doing the camp, which is fine. We got two mid again. So as soon as this is cleared, we can run back mid. So there, Sylvanas is here on this camp here. As much as Trench can do this camp solo, it's probably not optimal if he didn't take the level one. Yeah. Like, he can do it. It's not a problem. He's not... It's just it's going to take him a while since we didn't go the other level one. I actually like Bird of Prey here. But maybe we need to make sure that we support this clear a little better. 
and then if if Fox isn't able to double soak, whether it be he's worried about these two or just um, maybe like so, this map is this rotation isn't as fast as like Spider Queen or Towers of Doom. It does take a little bit longer, but like right now we're we're behind on soak and structures and things, and we haven't really done a lot top either. This is probably where some of the confusion came in because we've got we've got a we've got a um a mix up of stuff. Um cuz right now we we're doing I think we're doing too many things at once. Like this you don't need 3 people to soak a wave. We probably need more than one to do this camp quickly. And then if they're going to split push and not match your four man, like we have to do something. We can't let them take this for free. And so it's it's one of those things I think we just, yeah, they, they did something unexpected, truly. Like who drafts Deathwing and Medivh? Like this is, these two are not typical draft partners. So I think we kind of have some weird nuances to work out and what's really sad is that this team is really weak pre-4 just because Varian's not a real boy and like we should be either like we we either swap the Rexar like Rexar took wave clear talents so Rexar should probably be clearing the wave and you three can go do the camp or Wendy and Shadow can do the camp and then Melkor can stand here to make sure they don't get free siege and then you know our fox can rotate up it just it just looks like that we had some a breakdown of what we actually wanted to do because like i like getting this camp at one minute i agree this is a good macro play which means you can open up this lane which gets you damage here which means you can fight for this temple which will hopefully secure this building like that's all a very good macro plan but i think like we're we're losing the wall and in most maps losing a wall and in trading to be up and stuff like that is okay because at the end of the day like it's a wall but this is sky temple sky temple the the walls the buildings they are your core health this is the only map where abathur is perma banned because he literally heals and nullifies the objective and so if we like we can't let them take stuff for free unless we're getting equal value. And so right now Sylvanas is clearly right here. So it's like, and sure we've cleared this wave, but like you know, Malthiel has negative siege. So we can't like push with this to punish the fact that Sylvanas is here. So it's like so we're kind of yeah, I can see why this maybe created some tension or frustration cuz it's like we're doing a plan and nothing's working and they're just winning everywhere. But like it, I think this one just comes down to how do we handle potentially like drafting a double, essentially double offlaner, right? Like, like if you would have put Malthiel here, even not that you necessarily need to, but if Malthiel was to do this camp, he can do this camp solo and faster than Trench can. Probably not safer, but just faster because Rexar didn't take the level one, which I agree with his level one. I'm not saying that's wrong. Just build wise, if you take that level one, you can't do this camp fast. So, I don't know. I guess does that make sense? Everyone's here. I realized I'm doing my normal VOD review thing and not asking questions. That's a terrible coaching thing. Yeah. What, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Winiba. Um, any thoughts, I guess, on what I just said or what you guys were thinking in this first minute 40? Like, we're not super far into this game. Just what were you guys thinking when you saw the lanes or what happened when you ran into this situation? this i think i ended up noticing that he was gone and doing the camp it took me a little while to notice, honestly mm -hmm. and i did think about going over there but i saw that he had um a good amount taken care of so i was like okay i'll just keep on mm -hmm. going after deathwing that's fine and then i didn't really notice much else it's not terrible i'm not expecting you to to memorize or, you know, have everybody's position figured out. So. I could heal. So did the 
camp. Fox is just niching himself, which is fine. So then. So Fox has a. So there's a. Okay, so we have four tops, so hopefully we can make this valuable up here. So looking at this matchup here, the optimal double soaking thing is you want to be like off cadence. So kind of like when the wave is here, you catch it and you leave. And so now that the second wave has come, say it's like, it sounds funny, but it's like, it's almost like you should have grabbed this soak and then ran back down here to get this soak just because of how they've played this formation like you're you're not going to be able to get both waves of soak safely because because of where the waves are positioned right like they're they're pushing this wave really hard which is good it means you get free soak but like Savannah is pushing this wave really hard so like you can't respond and get both quickly and save both buildings and so, I'm not, we'll see, we'll see what we get out of top here. But like, I like this camp, like I said, I think this is the right macro decision. I think we just need a body, whether it be Rexar or, or Muradin, like someone needs to just like hold this and at least catch the free soak so that way Fox can run back down and do this one. Because we're we're gonna get in a like a pinch point here where it's like Fox can't do both, and so something's gonna break. Like sure we lost a tower already, but something else is gonna break. Like you're gonna lose the whole wall here, or Sylvanas is gonna shut down this, and you're gonna lose the whole wall here, or you lose both because Fox can't cover both. So I guess let's see what they do. We did a lot of damage up here. We need to be careful on how much health we're losing to fairly targetable abilities. Okay, Fox is trying to clear slash fight. Okay, Rexar finally comes down. Almost a kill. Um, okay, call that a little bit better. If we're trying to take the fight here, like, we need to have someone joining. But if we call Trench all the way down to bottom, that's fine. But just, our t Fox shouldn't be overextending then after, after he pushed them off the wave. Because now I think he dies. Wait, and this is Twin Blades Varian? What fiesta did you <laughs> <laughs> run into. So there's no taunt. There's literally nothing that locks you down. Like, so, so they, so they win through PVE. That's their plan. They're going to put, so now I understand. So their game plan is Deathwing's going to anchor a lane. Medivh is going to protect any ganks and Varian and Sylvanas are just going to capture temples. And Lily's going to float around and help. Even with that being their game plan, it's bad. Like, outside of being outnumbered and taking, like, 3v1s or something, like, you guys should never die. This is, they have no lockdown. You guys can run away. You can flap, flap them away. You can leap away. Like, yeah. This will be very interesting to see what happens here. Okay, so let's look at top real quick. So top starting to hit the wall. Um, feel free to either punch the Deathwing or pick the wall. You can do either one. We're missing people, so we need to watch our vision here. Um, okay, they finally brought you back up. Okay, don't tank the flying breaths. The building's almost done. We don't want to give Medivh too many stacks. It's a double stack we just gave him for free. It's another double stack we just gave him for free. Um, and we took a lot of damage there. Looks like we're going to be okay. Leech is okay. Alright. So after all is said and done, three minutes in, um, we lost one tower bottom. We lost both towers mid. We're grabbing this camp as the temple spawns. And then we're getting... What? What are we doing here? We've got three top. They've got three top. We're missing Varian. So my first thought would be, since we've pushed this hard on top, we probably want to fight for top. So 3v3, you guys can fight for top. Assuming you guys are healthy, you should be able to kill Medivh or Lili. Like, Deathwing is just immobile. 
and then Varian versus Rexar should be able to mount up and be there, and then Trench can cover or Fox can cover lanes. Like Fox or Trench isn't gonna win middle, but he should at least be able to stall for you guys to get some sort of advantage. Or you guys need to make a decision to just four man one of these, double soak and give the other. So let's see. Let's see what you guys did. So this to me already, like this game is like three to four times harder than most of your games that I have to review because both teams are not doing standard traditional things. Because like on Sky Temple, you normally on Sky Temple you, you take this mid wave, like all five clear this mid wave, then um, four clear bottom, then four clear mid, and then after that one you split off and you do this camp or this camp or this camp sorry that's a lane you do you do this camp or this camp and then you have someone catch this wave that's the normal tempo of sky temple is running back and forth and so running a double soaker on this map can throw them off because now you guys are sieging really hard top with four or you're getting an advantage somewhere but what ended up happening is we didn't get we don't we didn't get enough up here from our early camp. Like yes, we did damage here, but like our team early game is best into fighting anyone that's probably not Deathwing or Medivh. So we maybe wanted man, having to try and call a pivot would be really hard. Let's see what you guys do. This is this is a tough game to review just because there's so many decisions that can be made. Okay, so we did decide to go 3-1 Trench needs to not fight this. That's a that's a mistake. That's unfortunate. He's gonna die. So we we I don't know if we didn't call Medivh missing at a top, but but like he can't he can't duel Varian, especially if he's twin blades, which maybe that was a shock. I was shocked he was twin blades. But um he needed to just contest the point and as soon as Varian walks to attack him, he should back off and just keep soaking and keep using Misha to stall. Because your guys' wind condition up here is so much stronger, with if especially if it's only Mediv Lili, like there's no damage. So, but the fact that they were able to pivot down here and get a kill on Trench was not good. So, so now we're in, again in a pickle. Uh, okay, we missed the. I did see the John Oliver car commercial in a pickle. Okay. Uh, we're taking a lot of damage for free. You need to get out. We need to split. We got what we could for free. Oh, don't die here, Melkor. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, we need to be aware of what we're playing for. In that example there, we had we were trying to kill Lili or Deathwing because they had sent two down here. But if you saw, they backed up. They gave you the temple. Like, you can just play for the temple, and you could have taken it instead of trying to fight in this choke where Deathwing gets value and you're taking excess damage. So there's a chance that we could have just played for the temple as three, and then when Medivh rotate backs up, we can either fight them with our full resources or we can go elsewhere. But this is... Uh, go ahead. So it was said to go after Deathwing because Lili couldn't heal him. That's true. Deathwing cannot be healed by Lili. But the other problem you have right now with your composition is that the oh, only damage you have is Wendy. Like, yeah. you can't solo Deathwing. If you were Tychus, right, I 100% agree that you could run down, you could run at Deathwing if you were Tychus or if you were Greymane. You know, something that has, like, stickability and percent health damage. Like, you're not going to be able to kill Deathwing alone to make the fact that Lili can't heal him sufficient. Like, the kill target, if you're going to engage on someone there, is probably Lili. Because you because you guys have stuns, you can stun and CC her, right? A stun plus a silence is probably going to result in half health to quarter health Lili. And then she has to run away. And then when Lili runs away from being at quarter health, you can push for the objective. Like, it just... Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to kill Deathwing without having the percentage health or the constant dot damage. And we're just fighting in this choke here. And everyone on your team, um, 
is somewhat AA based. Like we took AA Cassia into Lili blinds, and so we're we're gonna not be able to proc our charge strikes as often. So that's yeah, that's hard to. I like I said I'm like to me like we're. It, I I feel like we maybe tried to use this Malthiol as a last like a counter counter pick, and and I and we're not really using it that way, and and like but we're also kind of doing this weird dance of like we want to fight, but we want a macro, but we want to fight, but we want a macro, like yeah the the whole reason I asked those five questions in our in our Discord is is I'm like what was because it feels like we have multiple people thinking of different variations of how we're supposed to play this map which we haven't done a sky temple review type of thing and say so it's like and then i understand everyone's trying new stuff like it's not like oh shame on you guys you lost your ngs match because you went to a map you've never played before and picked new things like who cares we're trying to have fun but like i it's definitely one of those things i can see from your guys' play it looks like your guys are feeling uncomfortable that was really close you almost got lately too yeah. So, um, so Savannah's is just split pushing bottom. Malthiel might be in trouble there. Deathwing is left. That's good sounds puddle, but there's no follow up. Savannah's is getting the bottom building for free. So this is the, this is that, that issue I was describing earlier is that Malthiel can cover things, but like he he's having a hard time covering both. I didn't watch just a second ago how he got to half health but if he was fighting middle here versus varian so it's like he can't fight like he's sure he can knock varian down and they can trade one for one but if anytime medivh shows up like malthiel dies he can't retreat he doesn't have an escape and so then we can't leave sylvanas too long for free because then she can siege for free with her trait so we're kind of in a doomed if we do doomed if we don't type of situation it's called a pick so, so like right here, that's good damage on him, because he can't heal this. But now the question is, is what do we do from here? I see a Lily's mid by herself. Savannah's just left bottom. We're four top, into a Deathwing anchor. I, I blue plate. We're chasing Deathwing. This is a good anchor of the bush for the Rexar. Dang, we're just, yeah, we almost, we almost just need to pivot our entire strategy here if we're going to try and pick up the pieces, or maybe we can do something once we hit tens, but like we're just getting out, out sieged, yeah, we're just getting out sieged right now, because we can't answer, like Malthiel can't answer everything. Yes, he can catch the soak. Like, if we were to look at soak, let's look at the soak charts real quick. If you look at the soak charts, Malthiel is soaking. He has the most soak on the team. So he is doing his job. But the thing is, is that, like, this 1,000 XP or the 600 XP minion soak missed. So it's like, that's 100% because he can't do both jobs. Like, we're missing 600 minion XP, and that's pretty much it. And then the hero XP, yes, we died a couple times, whatever, that's going to happen. Like, everything else is pretty on point. Like, you guys actually are up on mercs. Like I said, you guys are macros on point. You got the this camp and this camp. So, like, you guys are ahead on that factor. But, unfortunately, we've traded the, the health pools of this map for merc. Like, both times we took merc, we gave up um, damage to walls. And on, and on Sky Temple, we can't do that, unfortunately. Um, so let's see, what else are we doing? Malthiel's trying, there's two. Might be able to kill this Marion. Or we can try on the bear stun. Uh, we're taking a lot of free damage. This is still 4v2. Savannah's finally took that camp again. We're split on what we're doing here. Okay, again, again. Maybe. Okay, so we, once again, we've been up here top for almost four minutes, and like we're we're slowly losing bottom. Like Fox is doing what he can, but I don't think he can do this. 
Like if Sylv just yeah, this Sylv shuts down the tower here. Oh, wow, she misplayed that. She probably actually could have killed Fox. Good job, Fox. Okay, so we're almost tens. Bottom shrine is up. We're covering mid. Deathwing's top. Malte needs to get good health. Uh, Luigi's trying to do his best. They're cutting the rotations. Okay. We hit tens. No big deal. Um, okay, they took top camp. So you guys get free stuff down here. We have tens. Let's look at ten talents. Oh, they haven't been picked yet. Deathwing landed here, so this is now a 3v4. No, 4v4. Sylvanas is almost here. Okay, are we trying to fight Deathwing right now? It's our target Deathwing. Oh my gosh, who just got melted? That was the bear. Oh, and Rexar. Did we just stand in, like, the Deathwing stuff? I think so. Let's take a look. So, we have tens each. By the time the Deathwing lands, do we have talents? Did everyone pick their level tens? We have not picked level ten for Stukov yet, which is understandable. Trying to figure out if we need flaps or shove. Um, it's hard to do that with a Deathwing, so I probably would have gone flap flap just to try and isolate the rest of them, even though you won't be able to really shove Deathwing. But you can at least hopefully peel the little bit that you need. Either one's fine. I took last rights. We took ball. I agree. Piggies, I agree. Okay. That all looks good. So, take slowing it down. We're hitting Deathwing because he stood here for free, which I agree. Okay. We got four man stunned from Deathwing. Standing in a puddle. This is a great flank from Sylvanas. That was a very good flank from Sylvanas. He's almost here. You see, we're silenced. Oh, no. Yeah, we just... Oh, man. We ran back into it, and then we got quadruple polymorphed. Yeah, this is this is just us clumping a little too hard. Wendy's going to try and leave. She's not going to make it. That last rights is going to get the kill. No, it's not. Oh, my gosh. That's unfortunate. Yep. And we just have to run with our tail between our legs. I don't know. Flap flaps. It may not be enough because they have Medivh. Yep. It's a good attempt on the heal. Fox is gonna have heal. He's dead too. Yep. Dang. That whole fight was just too clumped. The only way we lose fights is if we stand in Deathwing garbage, and we got four man polymorph, four man flame breath. <laughs> like he's not even melee built. I thought you guys were gonna have a problem because he was gonna go melee. He went Q build. Like this is the wrong build for this map. But it was just, we just got smashed. And then normally it's okay to pick a temple and choose to lose the building up here, right? Like it's it's just, it's essentially like an equivalent exchange. Hey, we are going to take this team fight. We're going to kill them. And then we're going to get this building and we get the kill. And maybe we can go boss next. And so, sure, we lost a building, but we won't lose everything. But because we all died, it just compounds because it's Sky Temple. So now we're losing this building, this, and we probably lose boss here now, depending on how quickly they get to it. Um, and so the night they actually may not be doing boss. It looks like they're just PvE sieging. So this is going to be a tough one. We see they're on our camp here. Okay, so... How do we how do we come back? What do we do? Does anyone know what the comeback mechanism on Sky Temple is? Don't fight. <laughs> I wish. If so you can either on Sky Temple, you either die by a thousand cuts, which is not fighting and slowly, slowly, slowly trying to get that XP even point. And then taking a miraculous team fight, and then somehow winning every single temple after that. It's very hard. That Sky Temple is one of the maps I absolutely hate. Because if you get 
the tiniest lead, don't fight is actually the best thing you can do when you're ahead. Because the temples will win the game for you. And the temples are not next to each other. The comeback mechanism on this map is boss. Because boss is strong enough to knock out a building or two. It chips at the core health. It potentially can open up that win condition of that mm -hmm. bottom lane to enable a chance to go core once you kill all five of them. If we just play for temples here, like we will slowly lose the game. Um, we still have people dead. Are they at boss right now? I don't know. I think Deathwing's right here. And so obviously we need to clean up what we can, and we need to figure out if they're trying for boss. They have Lili and Varian, so they can do boss. So we need to try, as soon as Muradin's rezzed here, um, I would probably start roaming him over here. We need, like, I don't think anyone else on the team has vision. Trench is still finishing top, so he can't really do it. And if you two do it, you'll die running in there. So Muradin probably needs to run straight here in an attempt to find out if they're doing boss. And then even if they're doing it, it might be too late. Like I said, it's just we, we've, we've compounded our deaths and our macro so badly that they probably get this boss for free, even if you were to run straight here. Uh, we're doing this camp up here, which is fine. Uh, you need help with that, though. So clearing the wave. Fox will join you now. That's fine. Uh, they're showing bottom, so they're potentially still doing boss. We don't see Varian. Um, yeah, they just did boss. Uh, this is too many heroes to do this camp. You probably only need Fox or Trench um, at this point in the game. But if you felt like there was nothing else to do and it's not safe, that's fine. Just, just, just too many resources, especially when Deathwing's pushing bottom. Okay, so we're at a do-or-die situation here. So we either A, want to take a fight. Oh, crap, we still have Trench up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess maybe we didn't have as a team like the the high level like what is the macro play to try and save this game? Because right now we're up a creek. They have every single building. <laughs> they're up two levels. They have boss. They have the talent tier, and they're sieging bottom. This is one of those times where, if is any other map, I think you can get away with just soaking for thirteens and then taking the next fight. But because it's Sky Temple, you can't. I think you have to force something down here. Like, if if Rexar had come here, not that I'm blaming Trench, just I'm talking out loud. If Rexar had come here, you guys could flank the Sylvanas and get a kill with Luigi Silence over the wall. Deathwing can't peel for Sylvanas, and you might be able to stop the push. Right? Like, you're not going to be able to, like, save this building. This building is dead. But you at least can stop the bleeding to where, like, the boss doesn't hit core, too. So. Wow, death flew away immediately when you guys showed up. Oh, they're waiting for the boss. Okay. So now they're all here. So this is a... Okay, and we sent Malthy all away. So we swapped up... Okay, uh, maybe you guys just didn't see the, the the extremeness of how scary this push is, or you guys have decided to pick to play for macro instead, because this building's gone. Uh, Montour's dead. Wendy's okay. What the heck? Did that Lily just kill, <laughs> kill the Savannas? Yeah, good job. Oh my goodness, that was way too close. Okay, that's all we're going to get. You guys just need to clear. Oh, Luigi, not your face. Flaps. Is it enough? Oh my goodness, 38. Okay. We did it. Good job, team. We defended the park. Don't kill yourself here. I think... I think that was the fight where... Uh, didn't know that... I think it's when Fox died. Anyone was there, and I said to as we see it. One more time. Um, there was one fight where I think it was this one. Um, uh, Joel saw one 
person. Um, didn't see the others. Does he leap in here in a second and get himself killed? I I didn't really see what was happening. Uh, it was the on. Dead. Uh, okay. Go get him too. Well done. All right. All right. And then okay. This is gonna sound crazy, but what's the play right here? But look, forget what happened in the game. What's the play right now? What do you guys do? Uh, temples or top lane. So we got temples or top lane. Right? So we've lost this lane now, right? So this is our weakest lane. We can attempt to get some momentum back in this lane. Um, unfortunately, our first kill... They're back up, right? So, I I think it's too far for us to support this camp, right? But they have to do homework, right? If they leave it, it's going to get the whole wall and some because it's already pushed in our favor. So, Sylvanas or Deathwing has to answer this. Right? Sylvanas is the one that's going to answer it because she just died. So Sylv's going to come top. So I would do a 1-4 a split. I would push out this lane um, and leave leave Trench and Bear mid. I would, I would have Trench get the free shots here. Have the four-man run bottom. And then if and then see where they're at. So hypothetically, three seconds from now, if we push up to here and we see Sylvanas is top and Deathwing is top, right? We see them both top. We leave. Um, we leave Cassia here, and she does this temple by herself, and the other three of you take this camp. Right, like because what we're doing is they only have four heroes. They have no stuns. So as long as we're able to like split up and fight, we should be able to live. And the combination of Malthial plus Murden plus Stukov, we should be able to take this camp. And we have last rites coming back up, and so we can be able to use that if we need to. Next time. So let's see what we did. So we're running, 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 running. We see Deathwing's mid. Okay, we're trying to fight Deathwing. We see they're on the bottom temple. Lily is top. They're on the mid temple. Where are we going? Going mid. Okay. Sylvanas is here too. Yep, he has to run away. Good damage. Yeah, so this is this is the once again a, like a sky temple thing. So, so trading is always in favor of the leader, right? So like if we would have done the split I was talking about, now that I see them here, Trench would have seen that there's two here with his bear, and he would have been like, "Nope, can't get it." Then the four of you said, "Oh, there's two here. We're gonna take this camp with three. Cassia, cover this, and then Trench, since you were already free here, why don't you cover mid and then make sure we don't get ganked? Right? Like, just trying to do something proactive so we're getting plus value. Because right now, us fighting them here is getting them um, slightly better value. Oh no, I just saw someone came over here. That was a very ballsy silence. Good flaps. Box is here. Finally have a 5v5. That's a good silence. That's a kill. Oh no. Only more. But he's gonna die. Oh, that's a good stun. Oh, that's unfortunate, the dot damage. Yeah, we just we just took a 5v4 fight here when we weren't ready. Um instead of One more time. I'm about to press hearth instead of mount. Uh oh. 
<laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Madeev says, thank you. Oh, man. All right. So, yeah. So that was really awkward. I can't believe they did that split. So Madeev was bottom down here by himself. So if we would have sent four down here, like, we would have gotten this one, and then Madeev wouldn't have been able to get here. But, all right. So we're... We're even further up a creek now, and so I don't think at this point, that there's unless they just five-man throw, we probably don't have an opportunity. Um, we can't chase this that hard. We're just down players right now. It's a good intimidation tactic. Um, temples are pretty much done, so let's see what soak we can catch and see how we can get close to 16s and then look for another fight after 16s. Um, of course, check in the bush. That's it. You can do that. Exactly. That's your job. We know they're at our camp. Yep. We're almost done clearing. Oh, hold on. Uh, this is what Wendy was talking about. Oh, okay. When we called a fight and we were short players, or well, by the by the time I knew, like, where uh, Fox was, mm -hmm. it was like it was too late to do anything to other than fight. Okay, so let's slow this down then if we're fighting. So we... We're tanking a lot of damage. The funny part about fighting Deathwing Fox is you can attack him from any angle. And he only has yeah. a frontal cone. So, instead I'm like... Uh, we, yep, yep you, you saw it once you started taking damage. There you go. He has to run away, right? This is great. Melkor's taking a little bit too much damage here. Hopefully he has Avatar. He should pop Avatar now. Pop your... Okay, we got Polymorphed. Um, we probably walk away from this at this point if we can. Like, Deathwing flew away, yes, but, like, we're not in a position to fight. We're going to spread Polymorph here. We need to run. Uh, all right. We got silenced. Yeah, we stuck too long. Fox is going to live. Nice swipe flaps again. You guys lived. Good job. Oh, no. No, no, no. Like, look at Fox! <laughs> oh, you're gonna die for that. What? Oh yeah, they don't have any stuns, that's right. Oh my gosh, you guys are ballsy as heck. <laughs> you guys are diving in on 4v5s. Without without your mouthy all, who, who's your kill secure? He's your last rights. He's how Deathwing dies. Right? Like, without last rights, you can never kill Deathwing. Like, we need to back up. Like, we're, we're fighting way too much here. And then, oh, the fire breath hits two, three. Oh, man. Of course, got no abilities. When he's gonna die, you're gonna die. Yep. Oh, man. And then we use last rites on the Varian, which isn't terrible. But it's just one of those things where it's like, yeah. Rip. That was just over committing. I think we, 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 they were weak. And we saw an opportunity, right? Like we started, we started the climb. We got that. We got the first kill here. We started getting our uphill climb, and then we macro wise didn't choose to do anything that that got us a further advantage. And then we forced a fight here before we were 16s, and sadly they they ended up just barely winning it out. So, and that's game. Dang, I can understand why you guys would be frustrated. That is a very rough game. Um, you normally will not play into um, Medivh and uh, Deathwing type stuff. Um, I, you guys went for double um, solo lane slash bruiser in the four man, which I think is very strong. Um, you just got to remember where your power spikes and where your damage structure is. So the, the reason I asked again those questions in the chat you. was, um, you know, what is our win condition? What are we okay. doing? And so our win condition here is that we is honestly you guys out macro them. If we would have just done a one three one instead of instead of this, or uh, move Malthiol into the four man, or um, let Malthiol be the camper and let um, Trench be the solo laner. Um, I think you guys would have been able to not lose as much structure damage, but even with all the structure damage and early game stuff, the the bigger problem we had was we, we clumped real hard. Like, this bottom fight here 
Like, we literally gave them three kills for free because we clumped so hard into the Polymorph, Silence, and Fire Breath. Like, if anything, my takeaway from this game is that, like, we we didn't have necessarily a, a strong plan of, like, what is our win condition, but, like, we also clumped really hard for team fights. So, I, I would say, kind of like, you know, water going off a duck's back. Just kind of let this one roll off. This is not, this is not a typical draft composition type thing you run into. And as we're trying new heroes, trying new things, things kind of fell apart. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. And then obviously give each other some grace too. Like we're trying new things. We're trying to run around and do stuff. Like, like it's hard to call engages. Like when we don't know when people are around us or what's happening or it's hard to call what to do into Deathwing if we've never played into it or you know the goal it looked like we were trying to double soak Malthial mid and bot and okay it wasn't it was working it wasn't optimal right it's not like Towers of Doom or Spider Queen or something where it's like oh yeah like I can do this all day like he can do it just we're slowly losing and once again, that's okay. If, we, if we're if we choosing, like the call is, we're gonna slowly lose this because we're gonna take this building, I'm okay with that. Go ahead and take that trade, it's an up trade. But as you guys saw, by three minutes, they had almost both towers down in both lanes at three minutes and we didn't have theirs down. And so that's when, like, as hard as it is to maybe try and pivot or do something, like, we, we needed to figure out another another way. And then that kind of goes back to the beginning draft question of, like, we drafted Malthiol, and if he was drafted as the counter to Deathwing, like, we can't have Malthiol also be the double soaker. Like, that's just too many jobs on one hero. So we definitely need to, like, have Malthiol attack Deathwing or whatever it may be. So, yeah, I would say just take a look and, and just clarify when we go into draft what the game plan is, and then if need, if there needs to be a pivot or there needs to be a change, we can do that. But, like, it's really hard. I can, I can see really quickly how things got construed or comms got messed up because, like, you had people running from top to mid, mid to bot, like, just... Just give each other some grace as we figure this stuff out. This is a hard map. I said there's a reason why my team bans this map every round. So, um, any other questions real quick before I uh, close this video for the recording? Um, one of my talents is usually based on that stuff, and I wanted to know if it's the correct one. So it was the sixteen. What did you take? Come on, take, come on, game. Soul collector. Um. No. Uh, it might be thirteen, though. Ethereal existence. Yeah, um. This is a wasted talent. This game. It's not a bad talent. But this game, it is. Um. What's the physical damage that's gonna come after you, Varian? Right. So yeah, you're going to take 10% less damage nice up to a maximum of 30. Um, let me... <laughs> now you're dead, so I can't look at your talents. Is that what it is? Uh... Uh, the other choices are activating the spell shield. Uh, spell shield, hundred percent. And... Oh, or okay. this one. More heals. More health heals. Taking out, yeah, taking out five percent of the hero's maximum health. So you just like sit on Deathwing and out heal how much damage he does. Yeah. So yeah, so I would take this one or a... this one. Mm -hmm. It is only a point seven five increase. Increase solar rips bonus healing from heroes to oh two four point seven five. Thought it was by four point seven five. How much does it normally do? Four. Oh, four percent. Yeah. Okay, so it's a point seven five increase. Um, 
No, they don't have enough heroes for it. I think the the, the spell shield. Because you at least would have, when you're not able, like when that Deathwing is breathing on you here and you know you can't get out, you can at least push the button. But if you're not comfortable pushing the button, like, yeah, I just I just don't see physical armor getting you a ton of value, just because the the variant's gonna hit you, sure. But like, it's not like you took the other talent, the Tormented Souls. To where you're gonna have your marks on everyone to where that thirty percent armor oops. Where that thirty percent armor is going to um right, because you only get thirty. It's, it's like, so you have thirty percent physical armor for Varian. So good question. Anyone else something to look at? I'll quickly look at talents too, just while you said that. E build, movement speed, hawk, boars. Yeah, nothing else seems out of whack. I just I already talked about how auto attacks into blinds might be hard. But I, I don't know. Like, you can get free stacks off of Deathwing with Q, but it's going to yeah, be a hard game. Pretty much why. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to be hitting him a ton. Yep. So I probably would have went Q build, just so that way you could get free stacks off of him. But and then 16. I think 16, you probably still take the percentage health. Even. I just realized that the portraits are glitched. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, my thing does that. And the replay desynced. So that will be the end of the video for sure. <laughs> so. Alright, I will stop the